Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another video in 3D Code. Now, if you're not aware, I am doing a series in 3D Code on my channel where I'm doing a bunch of short videos to help you get started in this amazing software package, right? So what are we doing today? We're looking at the voxel sculpting room and I'm going to show you how you can create custom models and save them for future use in a custom tab, right? Here we go. So we're going to start off in the voxel sculpting room and we're just going to click on the grid right here. So we've basically got nothing going on. And what I want to make sure of is that I have the sculpt tree open on the bottom here. And up here I have the overview of models. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I want to create a custom model, whatever that may be. Uh, let's say a specific type of tire rim or an emblem for a car or whatever, right? So uh, we're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to take an object, cut a piece off of it and call it special, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the space bar. I'm going to go down here to primitives and let's select a primitive. Right now I got the sphere. I can go up here and choose any of these. Let's say I want, uh, I don't know, uh, I want, I want, I want, I want. Yeah, we're just going to take the sphere. Why not? Okay, so we got the sphere and we're going to get in here and let's see. We're going to mess with it a little bit. And yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to cut a piece off of it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be okay with this. I'm going to click on apply. So now it looks a little bit different and we're going to go um, to another tab just to get rid of that placeholder, right? And then I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to go to my cut tool and I'm going to click here and stop right there, stop right there, close the loop and cut off that top. Now let's say this is something very, very special, right? We're so in love with it and we want to save it for future use. Now, how would you do that? Well, first of all, I would change the name here in my sculpt tree. I would double click on it and I would could call it uh, cut off uh, sphere, right? Cool. Now, now that I have that, where am I going to save it and how am I going to save it? Now, I already have a custom tab up here. Uh, where is it? It's in here somewhere yeah, up here. But if you don't, what you do is you just click on plus, you type in custom and you hit OK, and then you will have your custom tab, right? OK, let's go back here and let's look at my sculpt models. I want to get rid of this. Hang on. And there you go. That's fine. And we're going to go to my custom tab because I already have that, right? Okay, so we renamed it and then we're going to go to the right here where our cursor changes into this little cross and we're going to left click and we're going to drag it and drop it right in here. And then it's going to ask us, uh, what do we want to do with the poly count? Right now, the poly count is 25,832, which is kind of odd because this, these are voxels, right? But that's an, uh, an estimate, I guess. Um, it's going to reduce that by 50% and it's offering a number of 12,916, which is still very high. But it's not the point of the video, right? So uh, let's go with, I don't know, 5K. Hit enter, click on OK. So that is now saved up here, OK? So next time I go in here, file a new and don't save any of this. And I go to my uh, voxel sculpting room, click on this guy. I can go from my default tab to my custom tab. I can double click on this guy and there you have it. Right. And then from here, I can go and work with it and do whatever I want. So yeah, that's how you do it. Short and sweet, hopefully helpful. If it is, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.